Somehow, some way, WrestleMania season is right around the corner. And tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern, tickets go on sale for WrestleMania 40 from Philadelphia. And joining us now, he's main event in WrestleMania. He's been part of so many of them. It is The Miz as we look forward to WrestleMania season. Miz, as a wrestling fan, you've obviously got WrestleMania memories. Not many fans have memories of main eventing WrestleManias. So removing that, what do you think of when you think of WrestleMania? Uh, I just think of the crowds, you know, the, whether the crowd is booing me or cheering me, they're so interactive and they're, they're so entertaining to be honest. Like it, granted the show is in the ring, but there's also a show outside the ring with the fans. And it's, it's like, we always say we take over the entire city. Like Philadelphia will be taken over by WWE, whether it's the fans, whether it's the shows, whether it's the hall of fame or the WrestleMania or SmackDown or raw, we take over the entire city. And I can't wait to do Philadelphia because Philadelphia is like the hardcore capital of wrestling. You know, when you think of Philadelphia, you think of hardcore, you think of ECW, you think of WWE coming in there and just putting on the show of all shows. And that's exactly what we're going to do. When you were growing up as a wrestling fan, what was that one mania match that you can still look back on and say, okay, this is what I want. Like if it's really going to work, it has to be like this match. Oh my gosh. I mean, there, there's too many to count. Like you, you look at WrestleMania and you look at like, gosh, man, like, I mean, growing up as a kid, you think of Hogan. I mean, right. I mean, you think of Hogan and Andre when Aunt Hogan, picked up Andre and slammed him. I mean, that is just mind blowing to me as a kid growing up. You're like, no way this guy can pick up this giant. And he does it at WrestleMania. It was, it was pandemonium in my room. We see so much with your career. A lot of people have watched your career grow up before their eyes. When you step back and look on your career, how surreal is it to think about what you've accomplished as a professional wrestler? Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd ever be sitting here you know, 20 years into WWE have won every title there is to win multiple times. And I mean, if you'd have told me that as a kid, I would have laughed at you. I'd have said, no way. There's no how I'm a, like in high school. I was like 120 pounds soaking wet. There's just no possible way that's going to happen. And then you, and then something happens in life. And I think there's always these different roads that you can take. Right. And my road, I remember, forget I was at, I was in my college fraternity, you know, Theta Chi, watching the real world. And it said, try out. And I said, I'm going to try out. Even though everyone said, no way you're going to make it. I still said, I'm going to try out. And once I tried out and made it onto there, I realized, well, what do I want to do with my life? Like what I could either go back to college and do that route, or I can go pursue something that I'm truly passionate about and truly love. And so I decided to do that. And I learned the art of professional wrestling, worked on the indies for like three years and worked my way up. When it comes to reality TV, if The Miz is number one of reality TV stars, who do you put at two and three? Who else is on that list for you? Johnny Banana, CT. I mean, I would say those are those are pretty good names to, to be accompanied with. Uh, I think they've done a wonderful job with the, the the challenges that they've been on. And they always are entertaining and always fun to watch. You mentioned your wrestling career, so much accomplished in your WWE time, a Hall of Fame career, which I'm sure is crazy to hear. What's still left for you? What do you still have on that list? Say, okay, this is something I want to accomplish before I hang up the boots. You always want the WWE championship. You always want to be the top person in WWE. Like that's that's just who you want to be in, in my mind. I mean, some people just are good with, you know, being like middle of the road. I'm not that guy. I'm the guy that wants to be talked about. I want to be on every poster. I want to be on every main event uh, pay-per-view. That's just the type of person I am, the type of competitor I am. And so that's kind of where I see myself uh, even in the future. And it's funny. I've been there for 20 years, but if you really look at it, like I'm the same age as a lot of the superstars that are coming in. Right. WrestleMania tickets, 10 a.m. Eastern, Friday on Ticketmaster. You see a lot now when some guys are coming up say, oh, they're just a Miz or they're a Miz knockoff. What's that feeling like from your perspective when you hear something like that? Never thought that people would say like, oh, this is just another Miz. Like I never thought that they like that I'd get to that level where people would be like, oh, they're just a knockoff Miz 2.0. And so it's a compliment, honestly. And to, for that person that's getting that, it's a compliment to them, to be honest with you. <laughs> we know you're a sports fan. Our show airs in ESPN Cleveland on Twitter also. 2023, the Browns will be good because why? 
because they have an offense. They have a defense that uh, is second to none. They have a ton of tons of potential. The coaching has been there for a little bit now. So I think everyone understands uh, the play calling, understands everything that they have. They have the playmakers they need. And I think that they're going to the Super Bowl and they're going to win. 10 a.m. Friday, WrestleMania tickets are on sale. What is the Miz one out of WrestleMania 40 for yourself? Uh, be in the main event, win a title, and uh, be holding it at the end. Friday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern. Ticketmaster, get your tickets now. April 6th and 7th from Philadelphia, WrestleMania 40. Miz, thanks so much for the time. Thank you.